Okay, welcome to example four. Uh, this is an example of a fish being weighed in an elevator. And uh, you can see there's a string here attached to the scale, and then the fish be hanging below it, and the scale is reading uh, the apparent weight of the fish. So really the question is asking for what is the tension, which is the apparent weight of the fish. And in the first example, part A, we have a fish that is accelerating upwards in an elevator, and part B, is an example of the fish being decelerated downwards. Uh, so the fish over here is actually they draw a, a little free body diagram, pick the body, and fortunately drawn for you here is the, the forces. So the upward force, I'm just going to relabel that as FT, and then there's a downward force which is the force of gravity. Now you may notice that the tension force is a little larger than the weight, and the reason for that is because it's being accelerated upwards. So our free body diagram is drawn, and we now have an accelerating problem. This is a Newton's second law problem. So we should also indicate the direction of the axes. So on the side, I'm just going to label a little axes up here, and just wrote y with an upward direction. So that basically means the tension is going to be positive, and the weight is going to be downwards, which is negative. So now we can proceed on to uh, using Newton's second law. Because this is an accelerating problem, we can apply Newton's second law, sum of the forces along the y-axis equals mass times acceleration. Now the mass is the fish mass. The acceleration is the acceleration of the fish. And the sum of f means add all the forces along the y-axis. So in this particular case, we see that the tension is upwards, positive, plus the weight, which is downwards. And I'm putting in a negative because that's going downwards. In this particular problem, I should also indicate the given. So let's just put that there. I should have done that earlier. But we are given, in this case, the weight of the fish. So F sub G equals 40 newtons. So this represents the true weight of the fish that would be in a system that is not accelerating. And we're also given the acceleration in both cases is 2 meters per second squared. So before we could proceed on to this part where we have to solve for the tension here, we're going to need to figure out what the mass is eventually, because we know the acceleration, we know Fg, we need to find that mass. So hopefully you'll remember on the side here that you can calculate the mass of the fish if you assume that the weight is equal to m times g. So the weight is 40 newtons, and the mass times 9.8 meters per second squared, and then we can solve for the mass. That will give us 4.08 kilograms. So now we're ready to basically substitute into our problem here, and we have Ft equals Ma plus Fg. So Ft equals 4.08 kilograms times the acceleration of 2 meters per second squared plus the weight, which is 40 newtons. OK, so that will give us, essentially, uh, multiply that by 2, 4.08 times 2, plus 40. So the apparent weight of the fish is 48 newtons. So it appears to weigh more than it actually does. So now move on to part B, where we have the case where the, the fish is decelerating, slowing down in the negative direction here. We have an acceleration downwards. So the, the, the elevator could be moving upwards and it's just slowing down. So once again, we will, let's proceed to drawing our free body diagram. We have a tension upwards, and you'll notice that it actually looks a little smaller than the weight, which is the true weight here. And that's because the acceleration is downwards. Now we'll continue to choose a y-axis going upwards. But, uh, and we'll solve Newton's second law, and it'll be just a little bit different. So once again, applying sum of the forces in the y-axis equals mass times acceleration. Now the forces acting in the y-axis is tension plus or minus Fg, and that's equal to Ma. But it's not really Ma, actually. Let's fix that. It's really 
Let's erase that actually, and it should be a negative acceleration. So I'm going to write that as m times negative a. Now I'm writing negative a because we see that the acceleration is downwards in the negative axis, x-axis, so that means our net force is actually a negative net force going downwards. So our tension is equal to our weight minus ma. And you can see that's different from the previous case over here. So now our tension can be calculated by 40 newtons for our weight minus the mass, which is 4.08 kilograms that we calculated earlier, times our negative acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. And oops, I actually made a mistake here. I'm realizing that there should be not a negative here because I've actually taken care of it over here. So really, it should be 4.08 times 2. So the negative is taken care of with here and noting the negative acceleration. So you have a negative ma over on this side. So it shouldn't be a, do, put a double negative. So now, just get my calculator out and calculate that. That's going to be uh, come out to be 40 minus 4.08 times 2 which gives us an answer of 31.8 newtons. Okay, and that's the end of this session for this example.